A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Be ready to set out at noon along the road that goes from Jerusalem down to Gaza, the desert road. So he set off on his journey. Now it happened that an Ethiopian had been on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. He was a eunuch and an officer at the court of the Candake, or Queen of Ethiopia, and was in fact her chief treasurer. He was now on his way home, and as he sat in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go up and meet that chariot. When Philip ran up, he heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and asked, do you understand what you are reading? How can I, he replied, unless I have someone to guide me. So he invited Philip to get in and sit by his side. Now the passage of scripture he was reading was this, like a sheep that is led to the slaughterhouse, like a lamb that is dumb in front of its shearers, like these he never opens his mouth. He has been humiliated and has no one to defend him. Who will ever talk about his descendants since his life on earth has been cut short? The eunuch turned to Philip and said, Tell me, is the prophet referring to himself or someone else? Starting therefore with this text of scripture, Philip proceeded to explain the good news of Jesus to him. Further along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, look, there is some water here. Is there anything to stop me being baptized? He ordered the chariot to stop. Then Philip and the eunuch both went down to the water and Philip baptized him. But after they had come up out of the water again, Philip was taken away by the Spirit of the Lord, and the eunuch never saw him again, but went on his way rejoicing. Philip found that he had reached Azotus and continued his journey proclaiming the good news in every town as far as Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. O peoples, bless our God. Let the voice of his praise resound, of the God who gave life to our souls and kept our feet from stumbling. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Come and hear, all who fear God. I will tell what he did for my soul. To him I cried aloud, with high praise ready on my tongue. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Blessed be God, who did not reject my prayer, nor withhold his love from me. Cry out with joy to God, all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord who hung for us upon the tree has risen from the tomb. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, No one can come to me unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God, and to hear the teaching of the Father and learn from it is to come to me. Not that anybody has seen the Father, except the one who comes from God. He has seen the Father. I tell you most solemnly, everybody who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the desert, and they are dead. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that a man may eat it and not die. I am the living bread, which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel that we just heard begins with the line, no one can come to me, said Jesus, unless he is drawn by the father who sent me. 
And as missionaries, as we're called to be, as disciples of the Lord, as evangelizers, being entrusted with the gospel and being asked to, to go forth and preach, those words of Jesus might be words that we wish he hadn't said. <laughs> no one can come to me, Jesus says, unless he is drawn by the Father who sent me. So however good you're evangelizing or however bad you're evangelizing, unless the Father is drawing someone, they can't come to Jesus. That's what he's saying. We might think, I'll try not to hear that bit because instead it, it can be my, my evangelizing spirit or my joy or my faith or my humility, my love, my kindness for someone else. That's what will bring them to Jesus. Jesus says, the Father is the one bringing souls, drawing souls. The word they're drawing in Greek is the same word that we hear uh, later in John's Gospel when um, uh, Simon and the uh, disciples are in the boat. They've gone fishing after the resurrection. They see Jesus on the shoreline, and Jesus says, put out your net the other side and try. Try for some fish there. And they, they go, and there's 153 fish. And St. John says, there were so many fish they could not haul it in. And the word haul there being the same, they could not draw it in. There's, a, there's, an, there's an effort, there's a, um, a need to, to bring to himself. That's what the Father's doing. And the Father, when the Father wants someone for himself, that's what he's doing, he's drawing them to his heart. So what is our role as missionary disciples? What is our role as people entrusted with this gospel from our baptism? Jesus says, go out and proclaim the good news. But it's like that other parable Jesus tells about the scattering of the seed. You know, some seed uh, falls on rocky ground. Some seed is eaten up by the birds. Some seed falls in the thorns. Some seed falls in the rich soil. But only some. The sower's job, that's you and me, is to scatter it's far and wide, to be sharing this good news far and wide. It's up to the Lord where that produces growth. I read someone this week, um, a lady in America who I think works in um, evangelization as her work. Um, she said, you know, if I'm talking to a group of people, I'm interested in the ones who seem to, their ears seem to prick up when I talk the gospel. I'm interested in everyone, but that's the one particularly that I focus on. Why? Because it's like the parable Jesus tells um, of, the, of the sheep. He says, I'm a good shepherd. The sheep know my voice. This lady likened it to that and said, the, the, the sheep who look up at the shepherd, they're the ones who are hungry. They're the ones who know the shepherd. So, so what's our role? Our role is to pray that the Father draws to himself the person in my heart. Maybe I'm, maybe someone at work, maybe someone in my family, maybe um, some, a friend of mine, whatever it is, who I really want to come to know Jesus. Jesus says it's not going to happen unless the Father draws him. And yet we're told, aren't we? Ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. Ask the Father to draw that soul to himself. And we, like Philip, have to be totally obedient to the Holy Spirit. Here's this man sitting in his chariot reading the prophet Isaiah. All of a sudden, Philip the disciple turns up and says, do you want help to read that? Because you might not know what that means, and I want to talk to you about Jesus. So he sits with him, he talks through the faith, so much so the man decides to be baptized. And then what does it say? But after they had come up out of the water again, after this man had been baptized, Philip was taken away by the Spirit of the Lord. Our role as, as disciples, our role as missionaries is to offer and then step away. Not get in the way of the grace that's being offered to that person. Leave it to the Lord. Be obedient to the Spirit. Be listening to the Spirit all the time. Who, who do you want me to talk to? What do you want me to say? Holy Spirit, speak through me. Speak through me. Only then will our mission be authentic.
If it's my mission, if it's, if it's what I'm trying to do, it won't work. And it will just be about me trying to get my message across. But if I'm living life in the Holy Spirit, if I'm trying to be obedient always to his call, his whisper in my heart, his, um, his inspirations as to, you know, who around me might want to listen to the gospel, might want to share my, something of my faith experience. If we're obedient to the Holy Spirit, he will lead souls to be drawn to the Father. And anyone drawn to the Father comes to know Jesus Christ. So our prayer is, Lord, make me docile. Lord, draw these souls to yourself. Father, draw me, draw me that I might come to know Jesus more. Draw my loved ones that they too may come to know the Lord Jesus. But all of this in the Holy Spirit.